Greetings, gentlemen! Welcome to episode 4 of Congratulations, You're a Dick! And this is a special episode because it has a theme, and the theme is... People who only make it worse for themselves and probably deserve little sympathy as a result of that, because let's face it, two a-holes don't make a hole. <laughs> and welcome! This is the series where I compile articles of assholery and I present them to you for your betterment or your enjoyment. Today, we have an elegant wordsmith in an E100, a T32, who wants to say hi to at least 10 of you and whatever the hell the last one you play is. I, I don't think they have a word for it. Um, so, let's get started. Okay, people, grab your coats, it's cold here at Arctic Region. This is not name on you, because it's not a region, it's a kind of air on you thing. Anyway, um, B Battle Blade, Battle Blade, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in the Jagdpanzer E100. Prepare yourselves, if you can, for this, because it's already starting. Um, the E100 in chat just declared that the matchmake gives him defeat whilst he's in a tier 10 game with only four tier 10s on the enemy team and a lot of tier 8s yeah and is, is Timo not naive about this situation? a few of them recognise the, the foolishness of the statement and they try to correct him, fair enough a battle, battle one, battle yeah, that's what it says in my screen. Battle One circumvents the uh, metaphorical fortunaton line of inquiry and uh, instead talks about the E100 grammar, to which the E100 replies, "Grammar, my but slow ass grammar talker." Translation machine around this, somewhere. Where the hell's that gone? In any case, uh, Battle One informs him uh, casually that um, he's a retard, which don't condone anyone calling anyone that, regardless of any evidence that may or may not imply such a conclusion. Anyway, Torsius T9 and E100 isn't gonna take that lying down. No, he reaches deep down within him. Her itself and unlocks an elegant wordsmith lying dormant within. Eons have passed, centuries have been slept through, but now a rally cry to battle with words and opinion. So many an enemy fell to his tongue, his words like a whip, freshly drawn, begging for blood. He steadies, pauses, and with a voice that would part you from leaves and nasal from chaps, he speaks these words! You need glamour to understand shit. Followed by... a question mark. God. Okay, okay, gentlemen, let's be reasonable here. Um, English may very well not be his first language. Um, and besides, it could be having a really bad day. You know, maybe he's just lost his grandma. <laughs> Plus, a question mark isn't technically grammar, it's punctuation. However, he does seem to be implying that having good grammar means that you are bad at world attacks. Which I must admit, I don't see the connection there, but I'll tell you what, we can ask our friend Google for some advice. Google, what the... Silly, shut up! No one loves you. Fuck you. Bitch! I... Google, define grammar. Here we go. 
The whole system and structure of a language or languages in general, usually taken as consisting of syntax or mythology including inflection, and sometimes also phonology and semantics. So to answer the previous question, yes, we do in fact need grammar to understand shit, as it is literally the basis for the order of all language, and including inflections. I mean, bloody hell, it, 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 grammar is the reason we end questions with an, with inflection, right? We say, hi, how are you? Not, hi, how are you? It'd just be weird. Hey, without grammar, all of complex language would break down. There would be no punctuation, just grunts. I used the wrong there back there, and again, I, damn it, oh my god! Man and punctuation literally tell you how to speak and communicate without even, you don't even know what to breathe, you just keep talking and talking and talking and talking! <laughs> so I got a bit excited. Um, okay, we're on Google. Ooh, idea. I'm, I'm gonna type that guy's name into the search engine and see what comes up. Huh. Hey, bonus for you guys. You know what happened the first time I tried to make that joke? See, I was using two different browsers, one of which had safe search on, one of which had safe search off. As a result, this. Yep, chickens. Sure, I can type in giant cock without getting porn, but if I type in huge melons, then... <laughs> anyway, we're not on here solely to uh, comment on the, frankly, incredulous and asinine attitude of the uh, Ewan Huntsman towards what is, in his own words, the Isis Langwag in world. Clearly not, yes? Um, also, you think English is easy? Do you know what the plural of dog shut up is? It's dogs. Right? Do you know what the plural of sheep is? Sheep. Yeah, f off, S. We're tired of your hit. Also, this event happens later. I have to say these words, right? I have to say, he's in a platoon with, and then it's A or N. It, it's A or A-N, right? Problem is, if the word I'm about to say is IS6, then I have to say N. N IS6. But if the word I'm about to say is Defender, these are both names of tanks, IS6, Defender, names of tanks, if it's Defender, I have to say A. A Defender. Because reasons, something to do with vowels and magnets. I, d I just... Wow. You know, contrary to this, Battleblade does make a good point. Stats don't matter for the point of being an asshole. Um, because you don't need good stats to be a twat. The E100 then says, you talk more with your shit language, in English I might add, while blocking him and pushing him out in front of the enemy guns. Alright, now this is where we get into the theme of this video. People are going to be dicks. Alright, it happens and it sucks. Okay, but you, you have a moral obligation to be the better man. Turn the other cheek. Don't throw yourself down to their level, and that that is what today is all about, right? People who just make it worse for themselves. Now, as for these guys, I spend the majority of the game just pushing each other around like entitled school children until Battleborn eventually team kills the Ewan Huntsman. Now, I'm not defending anyone in this replay, right? I would have been defending battle until he started pushing the guy and team killed him. And I don't want to hear he started this, he did that, he did th I don't care, I don't give a damn. Grow up, move on. Alright? And send this stuff to me, because this stuff is gold. 
Right, I do hope not to stick around for too long on this one, as I favour keeping the series away from games that are just basically simply depressing with little to no comedic value whatsoever. JM Crazy and his defender, we're going to call him Jim. Uh, Pilsen, by the way, check that. Um, so in this instance, Jim is going to get his game interrupted by t -Zine. That's what I'm going to call him in his T32. Now, what t does is push him directly out in front of all of the enemy guns, causing him to take about 1,246 damage. But fear not, Detective Walst is on the case. But Chief of the has 50% win, so he's not a terrible player. He's also in a platoon with the defender who is further behind him. He started pushing at a point where it would be reasonable to assume victory based on a clash between the forces visible. He stopped pushing at the exact moment it became clear they wouldn't win. Conclusion. He was discussing and hoping for an advance with his platoon mate and was trying to encourage the T-32 to attack with them. Which neither justifies or excuses in the dumbass way of the move, but it does give us some potential insight into the situation. However, there is a poignant lack of apology in chat and Tim has begun team killing the T-32. And he pushes him, and he blocks him, and then team kills him again. And his actions at this point are nothing short of malicious. Like, I can understand shooting him in the retaliation heat of the moment, but when you've had time to consider, time to move on, at, this, at that point you just get no sympathy from me, especially for the high-rolling surprise butt sex that the super pushing administers gladly to your booty. And they asked in chat for the people to uh, report the teeth of the two, but once again, I find myself hard pressed to defend anyone in this game. It says say hi to YouTube when he is right, he is on YouTube. Hello, 10 subs. Hello, people. Fair warning. I uh, may want to sit down for this one. That's right! All chat! It's here! Oh, the memories! Not going to be as dramatic in itself, this game, however. Master Killer 03 in the M41HMC Pre-Nerf Edition. So it still has 240 millimeters of pen with heat, because lol! And ah, yes, Mr. ISU. I was, I'm not kidding that that is literally his name. Mr. ISU in the ISU-152 just remembered that John... 23 and his teeth of the 485 slept with his wife last year so he subsequently violates him all over the map. Much to the dismay of the rest of the team. The rest of the platoon, of course, are gearing up for revenge. Even it seems random vigilantes in the form of that canonian yet and so are making a statement on the matter as well. Now, this is going to go downhill quickly from here so I very much hope you can keep up. <coughs> Master Killer and the RT is trying to get the SU-152 to move so they can team kill the ISU, which is kind of torn between a noble cause and a bloodthirsty cause, but it's revenge, so it's odd. The FE-304 comes straight up on the ISU, stuffs one up his ass for good measure, the Hummel attempts to take revenge or retaliate for that, misses the bird completely, by that point the ISU's already turns around, shoots the FE-50 straight in the face and kills him, Meanwhile, Master Killer finds his way through, stuff the shell straight up the rectum of the ISU. The SU-152 can't handle the stress, throws himself the off the cliff. Master, seeing this, can't stand it either. Dives in after him, succeeds only in being blamed for the SU's death. Goes blue, just manages to keep his head above the water. And the canoning yak comes out above them is more conflicted than a pig eating pork. And my ass is hurting. Mm. Welcome to all the tanks. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure making this episode for you. As always, submit your articles of as holy to replays.wolst at yahoo.co.uk. That'll be in the description. Join me on Twitch today at 3 o'clock GMT, I hope. Link in the description and farewell.